Hello, you're watching Armando Suriname Biology and Medicine videos. Please make sure to subscribe, join the forum and group. For the latest videos, visit Facebook Armando Suriname. Like, ask questions, answer questions, and please post some pictures. Artwork, please. Now, we talked about earlier about uh, glycerols and how the triacylglycerols and them break up to make smaller glycerol molecules and also fatty acids. But how is fatty acids actually synthesized? Um, well, it's synthesized from acetyl-CoA. Now, to synthesize fatty acids, we must first transport acetyl-CoA out of the mitochondria, because fatty acid synthesis occurs out of the mitochondria. So how does it get from the matrix into the cytosol? Well, if we start from pyruvate in the mitochondria, it can convert to oxaloacetate, and this is by the enzyme pyruvate carboxylase where a carbon dioxide group is added to the pyruvate uh, by ATP. And this is the same reaction for gluconeogenesis, when pyruvate has to convert to oxaloacetate first before to phosphoenolpyruvate in the mitochondria for gluconeogenesis. Anyway, so now we have oxaloacetate. Now acetyl-CoA will transfer its acetyl group to oxaloacetate, forming citrate by the enzyme citrate synthase. So acetyl-CoA comes in um, and transfers its acetyl group and releasing CoA. So now acetyl-CoA is on citrate. Um, citrate will then move out of the mitochondria via these, um, through the inner and outer mitochondrial membrane. So citrate moves through, um, through a transporter called citrate transporter. And citrate, looks something like this. Uh, wait, uh, it looks something like this. Now, citrate then, not surprisingly, uh, it can transfer back to oxaloacetate. So from oxaloacetate in the mitochondria to citrate, and once citrate's out into the cytosol, citrate converts back to oxaloacetate. And this is done by the enzyme citrate lyase. And which means that a CoA group in the cytosol can then retrieve the acetyl group forming acetyl-CoA again. And this all reaction also requires ATP to run. So ATP converts to ADP and one uh, inorganic phosphate. So acetyl-CoA is now in the uh, cytosol. Voila. Um, but continuing on though, there is alternative ways. So back to oxaloacetate. Now oxaloacetate can then be reduced to form malate by the enzyme malate dehydrogenase. So if oxaloacetate is reduced, it means that NADH is oxidized. Now then, malate can then be oxidized back to pyruvate by the enzyme malic enzyme through a, con um, through a condensation reaction um, by removing uh, a carbon dioxide group. Now, however, malate, however, malate itself can enter the mitochondria. So malate, alternatively, instead of converting to pyruvate, it can enter the mitochondria through um, the malate and alpha ketoglutarate transporter. So this transporter means it's for both malate and alpha ketoglutarate. Which, which we won't discuss, the alpha ketoglutarate is part of the keto um, the Krebs cycle also. Now anyways, malate enters the mitochondria and through an oxidation process it can convert to oxaloacetate by the end, uh, enzyme malate dehydrogenase. So NADH is converted to NA, uh, NAD is converted to NADH. Now, so we saw how acetyl-CoA from the matrix is transported to the outside through citrate. Now, it can continue on to fatty acid synthesis, which is our next topic of the series. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you.